Hey everybody, today we're going to be dressing up Lamb. She's been in this plastic fashion dress for a good while. Super cute, so not a problem. First, I'm going to give her hair a little bit of a brushing. Again, I'm not going to give it a thorough brushing, I just want to neaten up some areas. Lamb's hair is very puffy and curly, and I want to keep her curls intact for now, so I don't want to brush them out totally. They'll perk up a lot if I give her a hair treatment. You always want to brush your Blythe's hair very, very gently. There's a pretty good video someone made about brushing Blythe hair. I'll link it below, so check it out. There we go, that's a bit better. Oh, nope. Nope, no flyaways, please. So another reason I want to dress lamb today is because I got this cute lamb hat from the Crochet Factor on Etsy. So, of course, I had to get a lamb hat for my lamb. Usually I put a hat on last, but in this case I want to style her outfit around the hat, so I'm going to put it on her first. And that's another reason why I wanted to neaten her hair a little before dressing her. Sometimes I do it before, sometimes I do it after, just depends. Lamb has this funny curly fringe. I like to play with it a lot and see how it looks. I'm going to just tuck the sides of her hair back under her hat. Lamb's always got hair in her face because it's so curly and she's got so much of it. There we go. Now it's time to take her out of all this pink. Your underwear is blue and satiny. She's so fancy. Let me just pop her leg straight again. She's been wearing her own stock shoes, these little Oxfords. Like, a moment please for how cute these shoes are. Okay, I know I want to dress her in like a light neutral, probably white, to go with her hat. And also because spring is here now and it makes me want things to be light and airy. This one looks kind of like a wedding dress. <laughs> Here is a revved Rui romper. It's got ribbons for straps. 
This is Venter Arden's gorgeous stock dress. This lace panel is just so lovely and I love the little gold beads that look like buttons. Here's another white Rev de Rui dress. Let me compare this to the romper. Well, my mood is such that I'm going to go with one of these light, airy, Rev de Rui pieces, um, but let's see what neutral accessories might go with them. Okay, I'm definitely going to go with the romper. I like both dresses, but this has got more shape to it, which is more lambs style to me. If we don't tie these straps nice and tight, there might be a dolly wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> but it's hard to tie these little bows. I'm going to go with these sheer tights that have little peach polka dots on them. They're just nice and airy and they're not too thick for spring. It's easier for me to turn the doll away from me so I can pull the tights up her legs like I would do if I was putting tights on my own legs, just gathering the material until her foot is in there and then pulling them up the rest of the way. These tides are not terribly cooperative. And yeah, there we go. She's upside down now. <laughs> it usually happens at some point. I'm just smoothing away the wrinkles and stuff as best I can. There we go. Her blue underwear might be slightly visible, which I will keep in mind the next time a girl wears this romper. Like, usually their underwear is just white, but uh, I don't think it's terribly noticeable, though. 
All right, time to pick some shoes. Uh, many of the shoes I have are on my other blights right now already, but I do already know that I want something neutral to go with the rest of her outfit. Okay, these pink boots with the fur trim are more wintry, but I kind of like the way they go with the dusty pink of these ears on her hat. These shoes from the Takara Shoe Cruise Day set are some of my favorites, and they happen to match her hair pretty well. I'm going to try on the pink boots to see how they look. I actually think they look pretty cute, but they're a little too heavy. So let's do the beige day set shoes instead. You'll notice I'm pinching the tips of her toes to kind of gather the tights and pull remaining wrinkles away. Since these shoes have toes, no one will notice if there's extra material around her toes, and I'd rather have that at her toes than at her ankles. I do this all the time with tights and socks that are a little long or loose. Yeah, I like that. I think it goes pretty well. It's nice and light, but there's still layers for those chilly days. Of course, a lamb needs some wool to knit with tiny things. This is a really adorable hat. I really like all the pieces I've bought from the Crochet Factor, but I really like this because it's so springy. Now if only Lamb's hair would stay out of her eyes. <laughs> 